cheese. We were recently at uh, Wisconsin Cheese Plant, um, and wow, what a neat place. If you ever get a chance to uh, go visit a cheese plant or even just stop into one of the stores, uh, at the, you know, a lot of these cheese plants in Wisconsin actually have retail stores right there on property. It just doesn't get much fresher than that. Fresh cheese curds, all sorts of different great cheeses that are made fresh. And this one actually happens to have a big window where anybody can come and do some shopping and then look out as the cheesemakers make the cheese. We're headed to Henning's Cheese to watch the magic happen. Hey, Amy, welcome to Henning's Cheese. I'm so excited to be here. How long have you guys been here? Well, we've been here for since 1914, so almost 100 years. What kind of cheese do you guys make? What are you known for? We're, we make mostly cheddar cheese, but we do Colby, Monterey Jacks, but we're really known for our mammoth cheeses, uh, cheeses that range in size from 75-pound wheels up to 12,000 pounds. The cool thing about this is when we walked in um, right away, um, it's you've got a little museum, but you can actually see on certain days the cheesemakers in action. So, you know, great day to take the kids out for a drive, pick up some cheese, and then see how it's actually made. Tell us about this room we're in now. Well, this museum is a collection of items that my dad has collected over the years. Um, some of it we used um, during our cheese making process, some of it came from neighboring cheese factories. So uh, this would have been equipment that would have been used in, the, say, the 1940s and 1950s. Wow. So still family run? Yes. We're, uh, I'm a third generation cheese maker here, and we have, I have a couple of nieces. So that would be our fourth generation. And I'm looking at my son and a nephew possibly coming into business in the next four to five years. Well, I want to see how this, this cheese is made. So uh, uh, I get to go behind the scenes? We'll give you a tour. So, okay, take us through the whole process, Carrie. Milk comes in. Right, uh, first thing that happens is our, our milk truck goes out, picks up milk at, from about 30, 35 farmers, um, and milk comes in here. Uh, we do some quality checks on the milk. Um, it's unloaded off the truck, put into some uh, pulling tanks, and then uh, the first step of the cheese making process is pasteurization. And the whole part of the whole uh, purpose of pasteurization is to kill any potential pathogens that might be in the milk. Then once the milk is pasteurized, it goes into these vats behind us here. Those are huge. Yep. Uh, each one of those vats holds about 40,000 pounds of milk. So that's maybe about 4,500 gallons of milk. So once the curtain weigh, it's transferred over to these tables. That's when the cheddaring operation begins. And uh, these small curds that look like cottage cheese all forms into a solid mass and we make slabs of cheese and uh, the cheddaring process is a matter of turning and piling and repiling these slabs of cheese to help extract more of the moisture. What kind of cheese is this going to be, Carrie? This cheese here is a white cheddar. Now, once the curd has been put into these forms, we press them for a while to compact the curds and um, for this particular customer, all we have to do is level the level the, the wheel of cheese off, we fold the cloth over, close it back up, and then we will be repressing this cheese um, overnight. How long does it take for this cheese to become cheese that you're going to see in your store or at the grocery store? Generally cheese to be sold as a mild cheese needs to mature about 30 days before it is sold. But it can go anywhere from 30 days up to three, four years. So once he's done here and this cheese is all pressed down, what happens? Tomorrow morning we will take the cloth off the cheese. We will take transfer the cheese into a, a cooler where we will get the heat out of this cheese. We will then wax it and um, then it's boxed up and then it's uh, sold to a packaging operation where they'll cut this particular cheese into wedges and uh, sell the grocery stores as wedge cheddar. Very cool. Well, Amy, welcome to our, our, our giant cooler here. Uh, this is where uh, the cheese is, where we take the heat, the initial heat out of the cheese and we get it ready for waxing. And the whole purpose of this room is to dry that cheese down some more so we have a nice dry surface on the cheese so that we can apply a layer of wax on. Burr, it's a little chilly in here, <laughs> Carrie. This is oh, this is nothing for Wisconsin. <laughs> this is 40 degrees. This is a spring day. Check out these giant wheels of cheese. Unbelievable. Talk about the big cheese. Look at this, you guys. Wow. 
This is a big, big wheel of, is that cheddar? This is all cheddar. I was telling you we do um, a lot of mammoth cheeses and what you're looking at here is a wheel that's uh, 1,100 pounds here. Wow, and this will be then, you know, uh, get to your local grocery store. Right, this, you rarely see wheels like this here in Wisconsin, but as you travel outside of the state, uh, having wheels of cheese on the floor is very, very common. And um, so this, this cheese here is going to a store called Murray's. And uh, that's, that's in New York, I believe, is it? It is. Yeah. Very good. Yes. So they'll just take this whole wheel and then they'll, they'll cut it up them themselves. Right. They will merchandise it on the store floor for a while. They'll, maybe they'll cut off a little bit here uh, and cut into chunks, merchandise it. And then as that's sold down, they'll cut off another chunk. And it's always a fresh product that they're merchandising. Okay, so I'm like a kid in the candy store. I've got all sorts of great cheese, including um, a six-year-old cheddar, which I love. Had to pick up the peppercorn cheddar, um, the chocolate, a little bit of wine, and the Mediterranean cheese, too. This has been such a blast, Carrie. Thank you. Well, thank you for coming, Amy. Anytime you want to stop on in, you're more than welcome. Will do. I'll be back.